We are looking over here at a sequence of turns, but this sequence would extend towards infinity. How does this sequence behave at infinity? I'm going to rewrite it so we can understand a pattern. Root 2 over 1, then I have a root 3 over 2. This 2 over 3 is really a root 4 over 3, hence we see a 2 in the numerator. Root 5 over 4 and root 6 over 5, on and on. You're seeing here the numerator value is increasing by 1, so is the denominator. Numerator value is always 1 more than the denominator value n cannot equal to 0, otherwise you'd zero out the denominator. I'm looking here at a rule which develops as such root n plus 1 over n. Think about it. If n were equal to 5, you would do here root 6 over 5 and you would see this term develop. n here cannot be equal to 0 because then we'll put a 0 in the denominator. How does this behave at infinity? You know your rule in terms of sequence would be n is equal to 1 up to infinity. In terms of limit, you can write it as this limit as n approaches infinity. I'm looking at root n plus 1 divided by n. Since we're evaluating something at infinity, the plus 1 becomes meaningless. In essence, you're doing root n over n. If you simplify it, you're doing 1 over root n. It's a polynomial. You could literally plug this in here and evaluate it. You'd be looking at 1 over square root of infinity, which is 1 over infinity, and you know that to be 0. This right here is tending towards zero in terms of its value for this limit and it will be correct.